Hi, so here we have a very simple but fun problem to solve. Here we have a grid where we have to fill certain numbers in these small squares such that the sum of the first row is 53 and second is 39 and the third is 25 and sum of the first column is 35, sum of the second column is 29 and sum of the third column is 53. And the numbers which we have to fill over here are actually nine consecutive odd numbers. So this problem is designed by Meera Raghavan. She is a teacher's trainer and she has posted this problem on the Facebook and that's how I found this problem. So how to solve this problem? See, we have to fix nine consecutive odd numbers. So if we can find either the smallest odd number or the biggest odd number, the largest odd number, we can find all the other odd numbers also because all of them are nine consecutive odd numbers. So they will actually be of the form of this where A is the smallest odd number and A plus 16 is the largest odd number and the difference between two consecutive odd numbers is two. So this is a sequence, this is an arithmetic sequence and if you notice, if you add the sum of all the columns or if you add the sum of all the rows, both of them will be equal and that will be actually the sum of all these nine consecutive odd numbers. So sum of an arithmetic series whose first and last term is known is given as n divided by 2 multiplied by a plus l where a is the first term and L is the last term and N is the number of terms. So here we have total 9 terms. So 9 divided by 2. First term is A and last term is A plus 16. And this is equal to the sum of these three numbers. So it is equal to 35 plus 29 plus 53. So 9 multiplied by this will be 2a plus 16 so I can take 2 common and inside the bracket I'll have a plus 8 divided by 2 is equal to 9 plus 5 is 14 plus 3 is 17 so 7 3 plus 2 is 5 5 plus 5 is 10 plus 1 is 11 so this 2 will cancel this 2 and from here I'll have a plus 8 is equal to 117 divided by 9 which is equal to 9 ones are 9, 9 threes are 27 or from here you can say a is equal to 13 minus 8 that is 5. So 5 is the smallest odd number and after that by adding 2 I can find the next odd number which needs to be fixed over here. So first number to be fixed over here is 5 and that will be fixed over here. Why? Because 5 is the smallest odd number and it is contributing to the sum of this and this. 25 plus 29 will give you the smallest sum and next odd number is 7 and that will get fixed over here which is 25 plus 35 60. So this is the next smallest sum and next number which is 9 will get fixed over here. Next smallest sum will be 29 plus 39 and then we have 11 which will get fixed over here and if I talk about 13, 13 will get fixed over here. This is the next smallest sum possible. Otherwise also here we have 7 plus 5 12, 12 plus 13 will give you 25 and the next smallest sum is 53 plus 29 so this will be 15, 15 plus 5 is 20 plus 9 is 29 and next number is 17 so 17 and after that we have 19 which will come over here and 21 will come over here. So this is the solution for this problem. It was a very simple problem and very easy to solve. So that's all for this video and if you also have any interesting problem which you want to share with us you can send your problem to the number shown on the screen. So for many more interesting videos keep watching MathSmart, subscribe to it and don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you'll get to know about my new upcoming videos. So bye bye till then.